Hey lovelies, it's Corey, your physical therapist and trainer, and welcome back to my channel for another amazing workout. Today is day three of our Slay Ground Rules mini series, and we will be slaying our ring games with our Pilates ring or our magic circle, whatever your heart has come to know and love it as. And today we'll be doing seven moves, We're gonna run through each move 10 times and then run through the whole circuit two times. We'll also be working on a nice soft surface. So if you have your mats at home, go ahead and roll those out. And if not, you already know what to do. Go ahead and work on your carpet or a towel, whatever you have available to you. And if you do not have a Pilates ring available, you can also just use a nice small pillow or a cushion or just go without any other equipment at all. You can follow along. And as usual, if any of the moves are too challenging for you, go ahead and just follow along to the tips and the modifications I give in the corner of the screen along the way, wherever they may appear. And without further ado, let's get into it. Right, our first move is our kneeling squats with our arm raises and torso twists. Just get in this position on both knees and sit back on both heels and just keep the back nice and tall. And if this is uncomfortable for you, you can just go ahead and place a cushion or a pillow between the back of the thighs and the calves just to limit that range of motion at the end and get some support for those knees as we come back down onto our heels. We're gonna start off rolling shoulders back and down and raising that circle overhead. And we're just gonna squeeze the butt and engage those quads as we come up on both knees, keeping the back nice and tall. And as we do that, we're gonna lower both arms to shoulder level and just twist that entire torso, following the motion with the eyes to the right and back to center. We're gonna raise the arms overhead yet again. As we take our time, lower nice and controlled onto our heels yet again. And as we come up, we're gonna alternate this time, getting those arms lowered to our shoulder level, but we're gonna twist to the left this time, bring it back to center, arms overhead as we lower, and we're gonna do that 10 times on each side. Let's go. Press up, arms lower, twist to the right, center, arms up and down, press up, keeping the back straight, twist to the left, pull torso moves as one, arms overhead as we come back down into sitting, and two, to the right, center, down. Two, to the left, center, down, nice and controlled. Three, right, back down. Three, to the left now, and back down. Four, back down. Four on the left. We're gonna keep the shoulders nice and relaxed. Hold back and down, rotated away from the airs. Five, to the right. Make sure you're not straining those neck muscles. And five to the left. Five more on each side. We're halfway there. For those words you wanted to hear. And up to the left. Seven. And down. Seven to the left. Down. Eight. Looking great. Down, nine, Woo. awesome, oh my god, last one, Woo. good job, last one to the left, <laughs> okay, going for in and out abs this time, <laughs> can't feel my arms, we're gonna put or a little circle between both feet, just above the ankles. Really squeeze the ring between both feet. You're gonna get those ankles flexed. Here you push those toes forward. You're gonna go for in and out abs. Make sure you're sitting on the cushion of your butt. Just pull those glutes out, roll the shoulders back and down. Hands can be behind you for support or clasp behind the head. And if we're gonna keep it here, just keep those elbows pointing out to the sides. We're gonna press those legs out as we lean back with our torso and then tuck those knees back into the chest and sit up with it. We're gonna do that 10 times, let's go. One, keep those legs up. Two, and three. Four, five, six, almost there. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. We're gonna go 
for alternating double side leg drops now. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, we can stay flat on the mat and just lower that lower back onto the mat, keeping in contact with the mat at all times. Or we can keep those hands clasped behind the head, elbows pointing out to the side. You can just do a little crunch for the whole motion if we want to challenge ourselves a bit. We're just going to take our time straightening both legs, keeping those ankles flexed. We're going to rock both legs down over to the left side, bring it back up to center and over to the right side. Wow. <laughs> for this first set. I'm going to try doing this with a crunch with you. If you can manage it with me, if you'd like to challenge yourself, follow along because I have energy today and I told myself I can and so I shall attempt someone save me from myself let's go left oh lord right two and two three four good job relax the neck if you raise up five Keep it supported in the hands. Six. Try and keep both knees straight. Seven. Eight. Oh God, almost there. Nine, really crunch up from the abs. Last set. My legs, can't feel them, lower. We're gonna, we're gonna live. Oh my God, words. Hold on. <laughs> we're gonna give those legs a break and go for abdominal crunches. Oh my God. Okay. We're gonna put the ring between those thighs. Really squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep that squeeze on that ring. Feet will be hip width apart and just keep the knees pointing up towards the ceiling. Hold on. I'm still. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that lower back in contact with the mats. Hands behind our heads, elbows pointed out. And that motion is gonna come from really contracting those lower ab muscles. And getting that power as we come up. Try and look at that ring as we come up. Keep those elbows pointing out to the side and down. Let's do that for 10. One, two, three, four. Keep squeezing. Six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, ten. Fantastic. Wasn't that fantastic? All right, we're gonna hold that ring above our heads this time, keeping the lower back on the mat. Just bring both legs up into tabletop. I promise it will happen. I just need to communicate with my jello legs. And we're gonna take our time crunching up yet again, but we're gonna add a twist to it. So as we crunch up, we're gonna start off twisting to the right side, bringing both arms holding onto that ring over to the right side, elbows stay straight. And as we do that, we're gonna straighten that right leg close towards the mat, not touching, just hovering over. Then we're gonna return both legs in tabletop and both arms overhead yet again. And then we're gonna twist to the left side, this time coming up, straightening that left leg. We're gonna keep that going 10 times on each side. Let's go. One and down. One and down. Nice and controlled. Two. Good job. Two. Three. And three. Relax the neck as you come up. And four. We're just contracting those lower abs. Five. Tuck the chin into the chest if that helps. Six, and six, seven, and seven, eight, eight, two more, nine, and nine, last one, awesome job, whoo, gonna put that circle <laughs> just above both ankles yet yeah, again. We're gonna keep squeezing, we're gonna do go for double leg circles this time with our knees straight. 
And as you can see, my legs need support. We're gonna kick out. We're not gonna think about it. We're gonna keep that lower back in contact with the mat. So roll that pelvis back and down. Hands gonna be along your sides and just pay attention to which direction we're going in. For a second set, we'll go in the opposite direction. Just gonna draw a circle with both legs. Don't let that ring fall, really squeeze it in. And let's go. One, as big a circle as you can manage. Two, three, four, five more, six, seven, eight, nine, whew, ten. Good job. Ah! <laughs> and if you can manage it, my dear lovelies, please take your time. Try not to drop the circle, but you know, if you do, it's fine. No one's getting punished here. Look at that. I've already done it. <laughs> we're going to go for heel presses. This time, we're going to keep our ring between both feet yet again, just above the ankles. And we're gonna keep squeezing here, really flex the ankle, get those toes pointed down to the mat. We can turn both knees out to the sides as well. Hands gonna be under the head. You can move them off to the side and just rest your head on the mat directly, whatever makes you comfortable. Just gonna really squeeze legs here. Don't drop that ring if you can manage it. <laughs> Squeeze the butt. We're gonna press both heels up to the ceiling. Try and get those thighs off the mat. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five more, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whew. <laughs> Slowly lower. Friends, guess what? We finished with set one. You did it. I'm super proud. However, <laughs> We have to do that all again. Isn't that crazy? Um, get ready for set two. <laughs> We're back on our knees for a kneeling squat with our arm raises and torso twist. Remember, get your cushion between the back of the thighs and the calves if you need it. Just gonna roll those shoulders back and down. Keep the back nice and tall. Arms raise overhead. Squeeze the butt. Engage the quads. Engage the core and press up. Lowering those arms to shoulder level. Twist to the right. Arms back up as we sit. And up, I need space. <laughs> Twist to the left, awesome. Go for two, and to the right. Up, and two to the left. Up, three, and lower. Up, and three, and lower. Four, remember keep those shoulders relaxed, rotate it away from the airs. Just roll back and down to keep the neck muscles nice and relaxed. Five. And down. Five to the left. As soon as you sit, try and get back up. Is it six? <laughs> ah, we do not want to lose count today. Seven. <sighs> and seven to the left. Eight. Keep those thumbs up. And eight. Two more each side. Nine. <laughs> awesome, almost there. Last set. Right. <sighs> okay, yay. So we're gonna go for in and out abs next. Get into sitting. Get that ring just above the ankles. Squeeze between both feet so you're not dropping that ring. Just make sure you're sitting on your cushion. Pull the glutes out. Hands can be behind you for support. The shoulders roll back and down so you can just turn those fingers out behind you or to the sides. Or you can have your hands clasped behind the head or hold the weight at chest level. However, how challenging you want this to be. Let's go. Lean back, straighten the legs and up. Keep those elbows out if this is your position. And go for three, four, five, six, go at your comfortable pace, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. <sighs> Lower onto your back, vertebra by vertebra. I checked the board, I'm sorry. 
Guys, I don't know if you have a least favorite move ever exercise, but um, we're about to get into mine. So we're going for alternating side leg drops. <laughs> okay. Keep that lower back in contact with the mat. Just roll pelvis back and down. I think I'm on my mic. We're just gonna get both legs extended and then just lower. Try and keep the knees straight to the left, up and lower to the right. We can stay flat on the mat, hands on the side, or we can clasp the hands, keeping the elbows out and just hold a little crunch. Just keep the neck nice and relaxed. So you can tuck the chin into the chest also if that helps just really supports your head in those hands and crunch up from the lower abs i'm stalling i'm so sorry let's go let's get into it <laughs> oh my god and to the left Woo. center to the right awesome job to right and three to the right four to the right, five, to the right, halfway there, and six, oh my gosh, seven, I was just about to say it's not that bad, and then it got bad, eight, eight, yay, nine, nine, we're almost there, ten, Oh, thank God. Yay! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't think. I cannot think. I think this is, yes, abdominal crunches next. <sighs> She's alive. Don't worry. She's alive. We're going to put a ring between the thighs. Squeeze them in. Get the feet up. Hmm. Nope. Keep them flat on the mat. Knees are up, pointing to the ceiling. Feet are hip width apart and keep that lower back in contact with the mat. Get those hands passed behind the head, keeping the elbows pointing out to the side and just keep supporting that head in the hands. And we're gonna go up from those lower abs, crunch up, try and look at that ring, squeeze in, the, in between the thighs, and we're gonna lower to the mat. Let's go. One, two, three, I think this is my favorite now, four, Five, keep squeezing. Six, seven, really work those inner thighs as well. Eight, nine, and ten. Awesome job. I'm gonna hold on to that ring now, holding overhead. Just getting both legs raised in a tabletop, going for a bicycle. I'm gonna straighten that right knee and lower it close to the mat, just hovering over the mat slightly as we twist and come up into a crunch, getting that circle over to the right side, keeping the elbows nice and straight. Let's go, 10 times on each side. And left, two, and left. Keep the neck relaxed, three, and left. We're crunching up from the lower abs, not straining the neck muscles. Four, five, good job. Six, and six, seven, seven, go for eight, to be great, nine, nine, last one, last one, awesome, gonna get that circle just above the ankles of both feet yet again. Gonna get the legs overhead, keeping the lower back in contact with the mat. Just keep checking, rolling pelvis back and down. And this time we're gonna do leg circles, but in the opposite direction from what we did in set one. Get those legs up, hands along the sides, and let's go. One, your circle can be as big as you can manage. Two, three, four, nice and controlled. Five, six, Seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Yay. Going for a heel presses this time, so take your time. Rolling onto your belly. It's gonna fall, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> ah, whoa! 
Wow, awesome. I'm gonna get knees bent, heels up to the ceiling, just flex the ankles, keep the toes pointing down, and we're gonna lift our upper body with this. I'm gonna try and keep that upper body, head, torso, everything on the mat for the whole motion. We're just gonna squeeze the butt and just raise those legs, try and clear the sides off the mat. 10 times, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, five more, six, seven, eight, nice and controlled, 10. Awesome, take your time and lower, yay. <laughs> wow, we did it, oh my, we did it. Thank you so much for working out with me today in our ring games and workouts. And if you've missed any of the workouts so far in our Slay Ground Rules mini series, go ahead and check them out from the top in our larger scooping workout series playlist. But before you go, don't forget to give this video a big beautiful thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell right over there so you can see when I post a new video as soon as I post them every Friday just for you. And don't forget to also leave a comment down below to tell me what you loved about this workout. What else you would love to see and just share with your friends so they may join you on this fantastic fitness journey. And just follow me on my socials so you can keep up to date with the latest tips and videos of everything else we have in store for you. And stick around for next week's red light, green light workout. I shall not tell a lie, it's gonna be a killer, but I cannot wait to see you there. And until then, Remember, love your body, have fun with your fitness, and I will see you in the next amazing workout. Bye.